Hello again, so this should be a uh, pretty quick spur of the moment video because of something that happened. Wouldn't make one normally right now because I have a cold and my voice sounds weirder than usual, but I want to talk about this. Um, this is a Fresnel lens, or Fresnel lens, I don't know how you, the S is usually silent every time I've heard it, it's F-R-E-S-N-E-L. It's a really neat, awesome optical little trick that you can do with lenses. Basically, when you have a lens, it operates basically by having these curved surfaces and when light hits it, it gets refracted through you know, the different medium and then it hits the other curve and gets refracted again in another direction. And the idea is basically that the, the space between these, these spots in the curve where it bends that gap isn't actually really important. So if you can shorten that gap, and basically you do this, you, you go along a section of the curve, and then you cut it, and then you remove the intersection, and you keep doing that all along the length of a lens, and you can take something like a magnifying glass, which is normally thick and bulky in the middle, made out of a piece of glass, and you can turn it into something that's wafer thin and still has pretty impressive optical abilities. More particularly, I don't want to talk about this. I want to talk about this. This is the, uh, this is effectively the front of a, uh, I think it's something like 54 inch diagonal large screen rear projection television. And uh, these actually use a frontal lens in the front of them, basically you know, the, the projectors are all along the bottom. You know, I think it's one of each color. And it shoots up to a, a big mirror. And the mirror bounces them into the lens from basically a, the lens's focal point. And then the lens bends the light forward so it's all parallel. And you get a nice image. The important thing about this, though, is it's basically 54 inch diagonal magnifying glass which is the awesome thing um it's, it's weird how uh you know, the I guess, synchronicity works and um i had a friend who recently had their television break down and they were going to throw it out so i um i didn't really think anything of it at the time and then i was directed to a video on uh i think it was npr where a man took apart his uh, television found this awesome thing and decided to turn it into something that could basically melt you know concrete and metal and whatnot um, where I am and the time that we're at isn't really um, it doesn't really behoove playing around with the Sun since there isn't a lot of it to be had uh, so I don't know if this will turn into a project anytime soon, but it's definitely something that I'm going to have a lot of fun with when the time comes. Um, if any of you look up videos about these sort of projects, finding uh, basically large televisions, turning them into awesome backyard death rays, uh, word of caution, get eye protection, uh, at least because when you turn, I don't know, this is several square feet, when you turn several square feet of sunlight into a, you know, a tiny little spot, uh, you have something that will blind you. You you need something. You need to wear something. You can't stare at it. So, um, if anyone else has like a sixty inch television that's broken and they take it apart and they beat me to making a nice little project about it, uh, be cautious. Be safe about it because uh, this is pretty easy to get a hold of. I mean, you can just go to like Craigslist or find like something. I mean. By their nature, those large televisions are, take up a lot of space and they're not easy to just throw away. So there's plenty of people who are probably willing to give them away for dirt cheap. Um, this other screen, I'm not sure what it is exactly, but um, I think it's a, uh, it might be like, it might be there for diffusing, I'm not sure. Um, I think it helps viewing angles because typically the light would come out, the light would be coming out like effectively parallel, which is why you get horrible viewing angles on those televisions, but um, I think the second sheet is usually does something about it. I don't think I need it, but I figured I'd hang on to it in case I want to try doing something with it. Um, 
I might do another video about something else similar, but that'll have to wait. Either way, I hope everyone else looks forward to me playing around with this as much as I do.